Nino mi mengo mpana Zune jita ukubobe nanga Lavu chenina ye njimbia nge nyonza Mbate kumisinga nyunga ninda Ine nyumba mozicha eyo changeli anda Chaina nema bwe mwenyo anga kawa Tati na nsilisa ni maminga na yene changa Kano kenkula vye kune melene kenda Mbate kumisinga nyoma baby Shapely, I'll say Shapely again, Shapely. Desire Lucinda, <laughs> how are you doing, girl? I'm good. How have you been? It's been like forever, me yeah. sitting across from you. I'm blessed. We were all younger. Yeah, so let's go back to why you're here. Um, uh, first of all, I want to ask what you do to stay. First of all, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. For us, I, I hate using the word celebrity. I don't know. I don't like using it to refer to myself, but the people in the limelight, in the limelight yeah. we, we, we get under a lot of pressure and scrutiny mm -hmm. in how we look. Yes. How do you manage to stay in shape? Do you still work out? Because I, I, I stalk you. <laughs> then I'll see you say you're going to the gym looking all fly. Yeah. You still go to the I gym. I do work out, yeah. but uh, not religiously. I mean, b with the kind of schedule that we do have, mm -hmm. you'll have times when you're busy and you can't keep up. But mm -hmm. if you can't do gym, at least diet. Diet. When yes. you say diet, what mm -hmm. do you mean? Are you starving I mean, yourself? Are you? <laughs> diet means many things. So eating in for small portions. Rationing. Yeah. Rationing. That's very important. Yeah, because exactly. our stomachs are small. It's very nice. You're looking so nice. Thank Whatever you. Whatever it is you're doing, you keep doing just that. Thank and you. And I'll keep stalking you to find out what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I want us to go, to go back to the nemesis. The reason why you're here. The reason why I I, I wanted you on the show mm. is um, <clears throat> when I saw the transition. There's two things, of course. The, the, the part where you commented, the one I was referring to, the Instagram post, which I'll get to later. But right now, we go, we, we go, we're talking about the uh, trans, transition. Mm -hmm. For you, like my spiritual father said, for you to transition would mean for you moving from one chapter of your life to the next. True. But for you to go from one chapter to the next, you've got to conclude the, the chapter you're currently in. Yes. And I will quickly ask, do you feel you have concluded that chapter for you to transition on? Yeah, I feel like I did because uh, it, it, this is not something I woke up to overnight. Uh, it has taken me years and I was giving myself time and I believe this is the perfect time. I, I feel I know I'm done with the old and this is the new me. So we're going to go back to the old. We've okay. got to go back to the old. It's all right. know that. <laughs> it's okay. So we're going to go to those pictures. <laughs> that picture. <laughs> 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 we're not going to go into it because it's a family show so we can't dwell into it and we can't talk further into that picture we can't even show it yeah but where whenever i think about your pictures i i wonder it's the same question i keep asking girls if you intend to take those pictures think through it exactly and if you intend to do it take your face out of it because mm -hmm. i don't think they want to see your face because they already know who you are yeah. so yeah but then it takes me back to mentally where that person is yeah where were you mentally where what place were you in mentally for you to be able to bear all and trust someone i'm just I, I know. i'm actually I'm dissecting it the way i'm thinking i I'm don't know what happened so maybe yeah. you're going to take us back yeah uh you know i cannot say i cannot say i remember actually because yeah. when they came out those are pictures i'd taken long ago before you know like at the start of our affair which had gone on for about one and a half years i don't even remember when i took them so i cannot explain the state in which yes, yes i was just being driven by love and that's when i woke up and i was like oh my god i actually took these pictures and but the question was like where was he still keeping them okay because now now we go to the day you saw those pictures yes i'm imagining because all of us were seeing them and never oh, i know I, Please, again, it's a family show. We cannot say the, the, the words that some of us use. But yeah. I, I was thinking about you. Exactly. What was going Thank on in you. your mind? Shock, disbelief, betrayal, everything nasty was going through my mind. Okay. And where yeah. was he at this time? When you saw them, where was he? Were he was out still, of the country. But were you still in touch? No, no, not really because okay. uh, we had kind of... 
for the Which is why the pictures came out. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And why you, because they say the greatest disappointment one can have is in themselves. Mm -hmm. Did you feel disappointed oh. in yourself at the time? Of course, at that time, yes. Mm -hmm. Very much. But I wasn't even looking at me alone. I was, I was looking going at... to ask, were you worried about yourself, your family, your daughter, My your daughter, families? my family, my friends, the people, oh, everyone. I was just like, what did I do? Okay, now I'm going to take you back. I'm going to take myself back to a moment when I had, and I, I cannot have been the same, but it was almost the same. When uh, a tabloid, I'm not going to mention names, in the past, the tabloid used to really haunt me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I remember them writing an article that was pretty demeaning about me, and they mm -hmm. were kind of dissecting me, and they literally undressed me in their paper. Mm -hmm. So that day, I remember walking to a restaurant in town mm -hmm. that normally used to crowd people mm -hmm. and every man, I will not forget that, every man was undressing me. Mm -hmm. They were literally undressing me based on everything they had read. Yeah. Now I'm imagining you, mm -hmm. I used to pass border stages and they're arguing about you and, arguing, and I'm like, oh my God, what is she, how is she handling it? How did you choose to handle it? Oh my God, you know, it even gives me goosebumps. Um, I, I, I don't even know, I don't know what to tell you, but trust you me, for the past one, two weeks, I wasn't myself because mm. I, didn't, I didn't know, I didn't even know how to react. Yeah. I was still in shock. You were numb. Mm. I was in shock, mm -hmm. you know. I didn't know whether to go out of the house. I didn't know whether to hide. I did, I just... Caritas, I did not know what to do, but it's by the grace of God that sure. got me step by step out of it. But me as a person, I cannot say I have an idea how I even went out of it. For, uh, for me, the biggest challenge was not everyone else. Yeah. Your daughter was my question. I, I was thinking, has she seen it? Hide it. <laughs> Remove it. Do this. Like I'm thinking, can, can they delete them? Do they go? Do they disappear? Yeah. Tell me. Did yeah. she see those pictures? I don't even want to know whether she did. Like, you I can't imagine. Asked. I cannot ask her. I'm too embarrassed. You've never? No. But we talked about it. Okay, what did you talk about? Because now I'm gonna ask, I was going to ask you the next question. Because first of all, it happened when she was at school. And uh, she was in her primary six. Mm. She was in Namagunga. And uh, of course, that being a traditional school, I knew they tried to protect her. Mm. But then it was close to holiday so time, much. yeah, for so long. Mm -hmm. And when she came back for holidays, the dad was so bitter. He took her away from me. I didn't see her. You know, there was a lot going on in my yeah. life. You know, it was I'm, also I'm, good for you that he took her anyway. No, I don't. I don't know. You know, when you're in that state, you still want the, the you know, the people you love close to you. You want to go through that moment with them. But I you know, much want also to prepare yourself for her. I you know, prepared? but Caritas, no mother wants to wake up without her child. No. Much as I wanted to protect her from this, much as I did protect want, her from here. Yeah, in my arms. Yeah. So it it was quite tough for me because uh, I was going through so much, and then I can't see my daughter. Mm. It was very challenging. But I remember after one month, no, I think one or two months, I saw her and. We were in the car driving home. I knew I needed to talk about it. Yeah, you, she, you know the excitement to, needed to go because yes. she was excited to see me, and we were having a great time. And I needed to talk about it in one way or the other. You couldn't see any questions on her face. No, everything was gone. No, you know she's she's she she's was a she's baby. Seen, at this yeah. yeah, and I don't think she had known the details or seen. I have a feeling she didn't see. I have a feeling she didn't see. So I told her, you know. Um, you know, I told her, you know, Franklin um, put out some very nasty pictures of me and um, I know it's embarrassing, I'm ashamed, it's very nasty, but you know I love you and as a mother I wouldn't wake up to do such a thing to you. To hurt you, I wouldn't want to hurt you. Yeah, um, you know, I told her I was sorry because this was going to affect her but I love her mm. and I'll do anything I can to protect, to protect her. her. That's every mother's, I mean, that's the most reassuring you can be for a, ma uh, a child, you know, yeah. you want, to, you, you need them to always know that no matter what, you're yeah. always going to have them.
Don't bring me tears. Please bring me <laughs> tissue there. I'm, I'm, we're not here to cry today. I'm not here to cry. Okay, well, I don't I, know. Just, just know. please pass me those tissues. Thank you. Here we go, girl. Thank you. Can I have a second one? Yeah. <clears throat> I know. So, so then, of course, there was rumors. I, 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 uh, there was rumors that you probably had leaked them yourself because then it brought me to the... Because I kept asking myself, why would I leak those pictures myself? Then I, it brought me to a, a phrase that is always used. Good or bad publicity. Yeah. It's all good. Well, before we get to that, I think the bit of people thinking I had done it myself was very heartbreaking. Yeah. Very. I mean... I'm desire. I my name had been there already. Honestly, I wouldn't have looked we for such an that. avenue yeah. to, uh, you know, be bigger than who I was or more famous. No. Mm -hmm. So it was very heartbreaking. But again, human nature is like that. Where there will always be a side that will stand with you. People the that will, like yes, you. people that will character assassinate you. People who will talk bad of every situation good or bad or think otherwise so you can't blame them and it was up to me to prove to the world that I was innocent yeah I believe it was my duty it was your duty yeah it was your duty. so okay so then let's now go into the the, the, the whole process of um, what did you then decide to do henceforth what was your what did you say? Okay, you sat there one day and you said, okay, I've got to do this. Am I going to deal with Franklin? Am I going to deal with, how am I going to deal with this, of course? What were your... At that moment, steps? there was lots of pressure. Remember, I had borrowed a huge sum of money for him on his behalf. It was that big. I didn't even know. Yeah, so everything happened at the same time. Now, at that time, I was dealing with the pictures and then the debt. I have to pay about 200 million. And everyone wants their money then, like, you know. They, now they've, they've realized that now you people are part. Yeah. Getting the money is going to be a trick. Exactly. Now, apparently, he sent the money. He sent, oh. he sent the money through my friend, but he wanted to torture me. Uh. So he would literally send me texts. I kept on blocking him, and, you know, my family was telling me, you know, you, telling me, you, know you, you can't block him because you need to you hear need from him. Money. He needs to clear the money. But I didn't want nothing to do with him. So I was like, you know what, if you want to pay the money, you got to go through my friend. I don't want to deal with you yes. for now. Yeah. And that made him even more angry <coughs> because he wanted, he wanted me. But you can't have such a person in your life who has done something like that. So cruel. He loves you? He would yeah. never do that. Yeah, exactly. That was my point. But did you ever ask him why? I didn't even have time to ask You've because never... I just wanted to do away with him I wanted nothing to do with him all I wanted him was to either pay the money or I find a just way close all that off. yeah to the sea into the blue may change but in a cycle that I can lose each painful but delightful to live through. You came into my life just like another season, not for long, just a time, just like another season. Maybe this time next year you'll reappear for no but I'll cherish every day until you come my way this season. I, I wanted to ask this. Actually, because very many things were being said at that time. I mean, that's what happens. Everyone has their take on the story. Everyone yeah. has their own idea. They claim to know you, claim to know the story, claim to know more of what exactly. happened. Yeah. But all that in consideration, mm -hmm. do you think... It worked out for you in the end. Do you think the nudes being leaked? Do you think that phase actually ended up working in your favor? Did it then it make is. you? Did it? Did it? Did it catapult you into? I must say it did. It did. It did. Yeah. 
So that's where we come into that phase again, good or bad. Yeah. It, it, it's good. True. So it did work for you. Okay, so how did that then change for you? Because then, honestly, mm. it felt like there was a line between <laughs> that moment <laughs> and I know, I the know. future after that. I know. Of course, much as there was a lot of excitement, I still didn't, didn't know where I was headed. Mm. I didn't. You know, excitement is short-lived. I know. Love lasts. Yeah. So I knew that at the back of my mind, I was like, okay, what next? But amidst that turmoil, I was uh, praying. I was, uh, my family was praying. We were praying, They're, praying, are they and a praying. prayerful family? They very, let me come say, from a very prayerful family. Yes, very prayerful oh, okay. family. Okay. And uh, I had this pastor who was with me all through. We fasted, we prayed, we went to prayer mountain. We, I wasn't breathing because I knew I needed guidance. I you needed, needed peace. Yeah, There's and, no peace. There's no and, else and guidance peace. as yeah. well. Sometimes you can be carried away by 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 the excitement. I didn't want to be carried away. Mm. I wanted to wake up one day when the world knows me differently, but I didn't know how I was going to do that, and mm. that's what I was seeking God for. That How is exactly what I always keep telling people, learning to do life with Christ at the center of it. Because without him, we, we, we can't do it ourselves. No, I know cannot. everyone is looking at the characters. Are you actually talking about God? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, hmm. yeah. I know God. Don't even joke with me. Oh, if I start telling you about God, this channel is going to... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So I, 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 like, I like that you took a bad situation and made it out for yourself. Yeah. But I needed to understand the healing process, the actual healing process, the journey. Did you involve your daughter? Did, did your daughter, did it just pass? Because then also there's the story of your daughter having different fathers. Did <laughs> oh that affect God, us? I'm sorry, you've got to go there. I'm, I'm sorry. good to go. I like that. Yeah, because it happens. It's and, just too much. And the reason why I'm asking is like I'm thinking, oh God. Yeah. I was there once. I mean, someone, they, they wrote and they said my boy's father was someone different. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know when you sit down and you're like, I, and I'm the only one who doesn't know the yeah. truth. Yeah. But I'm wondering, yours was worse. You were like literally being tossed around like that. Yeah, I mean. How did that happen? How did, that, how did you handle you know, sometimes that? Sometimes I want to have the right ones to say, but you know, I don't, I don't know how I can ex ever explain myself. But I hope the few words I use are enough for people to understand me. Um, with my daughter, I just prayed because, you know, you cannot bring the pictures and show them to her. That, no. You know, this is the exactly what I'm... Like, no. That would First of you. all, she didn't want to go back to that school. She was being bullied. I was going to ask you, was yes. she being bullied? Yes. And you know how <sighs> that means? That is painful. She's in a candidate class and from a top notch school, you know, and then she tells you, I can't go back, and you're the reason why she oh. can't go back. And what is she telling you? You know, my daughter loves me, and sometimes can if, you can, if you can't read between lines or if you're not close to your kids, you can never know what they're going through because mm. she would never tell me outright that you're the reason. But, but you knew. I knew. And at first, I didn't want to believe it because I was living in denial. You were hoping that people would be humane enough and to, to understand. To protect and protect Yes. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, because my mother knew... I love this picture of you Thank too. you. <laughs> thank so you. gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. So, because my mother knew, mm -hmm. she asked me to talk to her. She, she actually asked me whether she could talk to her. She I felt was like, she might not manage it. Yes. Yeah. So she knew there was something she was hiding, mm. you know. So I, I told her, yeah, you can talk to her. So they were chatting on WhatsApp. She would call her. And then my mom was like, you know, the problem is actually you, the pictures, and uh, what everybody else is saying. But she loves you. She doesn't want to hurt you. So she oh, can't sweet. tell you. Protecting mommy. Yes. Yeah, so she can't tell you outright mm. that this is the problem. Mm. But uh, I think, yeah, don't take her back. Just find a school of her choice. Now, remember, she's in a candidate, candidate class. class. Of course, you a child will want a school where she has all the freedom. Now, you need to guide her, and I'm at crossroads. You want to make her happy. It's short notice. It's the last. It's a very she's in a candidate class, and yeah, you know, and 
I tried to convince her, no, let's go to this other school because, you know, your performance is key. And she's mm. like, mommy, no, I want to go to Lohana. <laughs> now, this is oh, day wow. school. Lohana is not a bad school. That, of course, I'm just thinking. But it, I would it's have a day school. Have to another boarding school. Yeah, but. now that's what I wanted. Yeah. Because of all the right reasons. Yes. And to me, coming to a day school, engaging me in two pick up um, drop ups drop. And, and then afresh you've got to catch up and wow my life was just but you had to think about her first of course so what did you do you did you listened to her and i had to you, and she, you know what she had contacts already <laughs> that girl <laughs> is she something was, else she was protecting you well i know <laughs> but then the level at which she pursues something she wants is smart is amazing she's your daughter i know well, that's what i'm that? saying <laughs> because i would do the same i mean oh, that's yeah. how i was so she had the contacts of the headmistress she had the details she even brought me forms i was like when did you go there to pick the forms uh the other day when the driver picked me i told him to take me to the school and i found out i was like what? and you know they told me i can actually go for the interview on such and such a day she literally had all the details she made your job easy she was protecting you yeah. through and through now i was even afraid to go to the school i was you like, ashamed okay. you were thinking about that <laughs> what are they gonna what think? are they gonna think of this mother yeah they would they didn't know the circumstances under which she went there yeah so wow. i asked my okay. sister to go with her and the day she went to inquire with my sister is actually the day they gave her the interview okay something that was meant to take five minutes took the whole afternoon so i was like okay what do you what's taking you guys long she's actually doing an interview and i'm like wow this is michelle and she got the school in one week she was ready to start because candidates they don't waste time they don't yeah. waste any time and she's like you have to buy the uniform in the you have to pay the school fees you know i have to start in one week now the father doesn't know about it Oh, Courageous. so now you have to cross over, tell him what's tell happening, him. and then also you've got to remind. Then then he gets and then to also try to uh, reschedule. Uh, uh, now I have to wake up five a.m. Hmm. Yeah, drop through the. We have to do homework back. together. Reading so it was for like the candidate a whole class. new life for me. Reading <laughs> for the candidate class. Yes. Oh, okay. So I can only imagine how she she went into school, and you know, Lohana did a good job. I. I must commend the, the administration and the students they there. Her. They showed us so much love that they made your job easy. Yeah. Now with her, she was like, somewhat <sighs> okay. Now it was now time for me. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now with her, which we, which is what we're going to talk about when we come back, because then we're going to talk about then that journey. Because I feel like from there it now just went fast forward. Yeah. Which I then want to go to the transition yeah. in just a few seconds. Once we are come to Chicago, love I want to move and go my way. If you love you and I go pan. Oh, love and fun you mu gongo. Go mu tesi walo. E meza kabako. Nga kagati kaso. Daya, tell me what have been the worst, when I say worst, no, let me say most hurtful thing. One hurtful thing that has ever been said about you on social media. Maybe someone said on Facebook a comment somewhere that was really, kind of really... <laughs> Other than, uh, yeah. I think, I, I, I didn't want you to go there, but I, I think you might go there mm -hmm. <laughs> to the post that I was referring to of your daughter. Maybe that's not it. I don't want to... Of course, comments to do with kids will always be most hurtful. Yeah. But calling me a porn star breaks me down. Okay. Yeah. Do you blame people for calling you a porn star or is it what they've grown to believe from what they've seen, from what they've read? Exactly. You wouldn't it, blame I people. I mean, it all started after the scandal, after the, yeah. the, the that scandal. After the pictures. So, mm -hmm. Can't blame them. And I say you guys. No, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dye here. 
one of the most famous musicians in Uganda, and she's here right, right in London doing her thing. She's looking sexy. Look at her, look at her. Looking awesome, looking awesome. Now that's what I'm talking about, sexy, sexy. Listen up. <laughs> but let me first talk about this picture and I talk as a mum. Yeah. I saw this picture and I was like, girl, she is so gorgeous. She's Thank what? You. 17 now? No, 14. 14. Yeah. Look at me first for the new year. I took it again. Oh, I'm on your way. Rewind. Pause. Take again. Sorry. <laughs> it's just that I think, so I feel sorry. that I, seeing her with you, it feels like she's she's. More yeah, because mature. of the weight and yeah, it's very she okay. looks when she's with you I, and I, feels like you know. It's very okay. Okay, now yeah. let's go to her mm. and 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 that post because I know you put up this picture. Yeah. And then yeah, there is your post and this girl writes Anonya. Yeah. But but really, no. No. <laughs> Anonya, like okay, <laughs> what in the picture shows that? Uh, no, yeah. Like, know. where does that even come from? And then you came in and said, "Don't expose your foolishness here." Da, da, da. Hey, and the last word there is on that came and I said, "Do I what?" <laughs> she was annoyed, and I was looking at you, probably holding your phone and going like, "Yeah, oh, and you don't even want the internet to go off or blink or what? You know, you just want the message to go." What are you doing to protect your daughter? Because now these are things that I know you can only do so much. The yeah. world out there awaits her. Yes. What are you doing to protect her? How are you preparing her for the world? Yeah, um, first of all, I, I relate with my mother, how she has raised us. Nothing surpasses love, nothing beats love. Mm -hmm. When you show a child love, you oh, draw them closer to you. By drawing them closer to you, you can talk about anything. You get yeah. to know them better. Yes. And talk about anything. And they also learn how to love. They grow up knowing what love is. Yes. You know. So, I hold lots of talks with my daughter. I can imagine. You're there telling her, pout, pout. <laughs> <laughs> pose. More like on the pose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I see that we, relationship. It's yeah, like we, we talk a lot. We talk about pretty much everything. Okay. And, you know, I keep telling people. Some people do tell me, stop posting her. Stop. I used not to post her, but then she's my daughter. And then sometimes she would be like, you don't post me, you don't love me. Now, it's conflicting. Yeah, your tone between the two. Yes. And then again, I can't hide her forever. She'll always be my daughter. Be your daughter. I chose this life and she's going to be part of it. it. She'll forever be part of it. Yeah. You know, and that's it. what people forget. Yeah. She's you know? part of it. She's part yes. of the whole picture. Like forever. Yeah. So how do I protect her is by talking to her. Okay. There will always be people that will say nasty things. Mm -hmm. This is not happening to only me. I've seen people attack Kim Kardashian's daughter, her kids. I've seen, you know, it happens all over the world because the world. we live in a world where we have people who are... Um, Everyone's different. Everyone with all kinds of minds. Yeah. Yes. And not everyone will love you, not everyone will like you. Yes, and so. people use social media for all sorts of reasons yeah. and in all sorts of ways. Mm. So I keep telling her, not to take these things personally mm -hmm. however she should you know nurture you know like mind about her character that's it. that's yeah. that's what matters mm -hmm. most yeah. who you are yeah you know mm -hmm. but not what the world says yeah i mean if they they're if they wrote she's opinion. ugly and i'm like are you ugly she's like no mom i'm beautiful they always have an opinion it should not yes should not, so yeah i i i concentrate more on her character nurturing her character yeah. who she is to mm. me that's what matters that's most, and that's matters. how i'm protecting her okay are you gonna have any more okay let's talk about relationships are you in a yeah. relationship because i know the last that i knew was i don't want to mention names because <laughs> i don't have proof until I you know. give it to me the one who had a car with a personalized plate and i was like god i see you i'm <laughs> like i see you are you no. still together no he's my friend oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's my See? friend. That's why I say I don't just mention them. See, I thank God I didn't mention the name. No, he's Are my you friend. Are you in a relationship though? No, I'm not in a relationship. With God, yes. Amen to that. Yes, that yeah. one always has to be. Yeah. But even God wants you to have the other relationship. No, 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 not When the now. time is right. Yes. Okay. So do you still plan on having kids in the future? I don't know. Sometimes I pray to God and I'm like, God, if you can give me someone who doesn't want kids, 
and then and then other times I'm like, you know, but, why the thought but of I'm okay the pregnancy, with one. the thought of I do mean, I just don't again. want to do it again. I just don't imagine myself doing it again. I believe I can be complete. <laughs> with you can mother other children. Yeah, I'm, and I'm product. very good at that. Oh, you're okay. Well, yeah. We're going to bring children to you very <laughs> soon. So let's go to another issue that people have always been talking about, the age issue. Yeah. I, I don't know why people said it. Um, having issues with age. Yeah. You are talking about age. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, But they say of a person in my country. I don't know why. And then there's a place. Uh, another time, I think I don't know where I read that. Where you were, you mentioned me, and you said, "Singkukuru, singkukuru, in my And I said, "Girl, yeah, that's mm. true." But then I was thinking, okay. Why do people use me as a yardstick? <laughs> I got I have grey hair. Okay, I get it. Now, eh? Nandes. They say that they're not talking to you. They're not talking to you. Fourth floor. It's a short time. Nay, what is it about age? What do you think people uh, fuss about age? Do you feel the pressure to remain looking young and beautiful? Do you the feel that pressure, pressure will always be there because yeah. nobody wants to look old. We all <laughs> want to look young yeah, and yeah, beautiful, but you can't cheat age. I know. You can only look beautiful. You can. Play with this just with makeup. Yeah, and also take up. care of yourself. That's very true. Yeah, I mean, we've seen them. We've seen them. We've seen them. Exactly. Is, the, in America, I mean, what's his name? Steve Harvey's wife. She's yeah, wife. Wife. and she looks amazing. Oh, yes. And you're like, hey. you know? Yeah. yeah. So you can only, you know, take care of yourself and look good. You can't cheat age. Personally, I don't even get offended. So I was going to ask how old you are. I'm 34. Yeah. She wait day ah. <laughs> so before we run out of time, let's go into the transition. Yeah. Um, of course, now I'm going to ask about. Uh, you, you said you already answered the part about the trigger. What triggered you to start the journey, the transition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I also asked you about having ended that chapter, and you feel now you're ready. Mm -hmm. But then, then you say you've done the last album, which is a transition album, which is the last album in the secular world. Yeah. Are you really ready to transit? I and am. Uh, by that I mean musically. Are you ready to transit from secular world to... I am. Trust me, it has taken me years. Yeah. Like I told you, my scandal was the turning point. Yeah. You know, I've been going to church and uh, at some point I was actually in a choir, in a church somewhere. But some people would be disturbed. Church, you desire in choir. They were serious. You can. They judge us, yeah. Yeah, they judge. Very quick. But of course, you don't blame them because they don't know you. this is uh, that image you're portraying. They don't know you. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they don't know the real you. Mm. And of course, you know my dress code. Mini njagunzagal. I was going to ask you. That was going to change. I can't even say it's in church. On Sunday you're in church. The next weekend you're on the stage. You're queer. Come mini. Hey, don't be nanging ambassador. What you get up? But then I really love my God from the heart. Yeah. So every time I went to bed, I would think about it, and I'm like, okay, I can't. Spread my legs. You can't put your legs you know, on both yeah. sides. Yeah. I need to decide. And I was feeling it deep within me. The city kid is anti. While we must also be anti. Terry sent a bubble of holy. Katon, let us all a moon on your own vida mo. Atera, city was sent. Nungo was sent. Ezande mani was a joke. Kuvanda vyo was sent. Ndi kuteko. City chiva dech kulenyo. I'm following my heart. And omutima. Nature change, I got a single before. There was at one, you know, there was this particular time I was going to perform and I wanted to cry. You want the money? You but need the money. Yeah. Not you want the money, you need the money. Yeah, you need the money. But you're not feeling what you're yeah. doing anymore. That's the worst place to be. Yeah. And then every time I was in charge, I was feeling. Every time I did my worship, I felt like that was it. So where did you pray from? I go to Panera. 
Oh, you're funny. General Ministries. But I was ministering in a different church at that time. Okay. So, I wanted to, to, to really, you know, sing gospel music, but people are so, the negative energy I about know. gospel music is so high, mm. so strong, that every time I talk to someone, I want to do gospel, oh, yeah, what day? People think that you are now going to church. My dear, the world thinks or gospel music There's no money is in a the dead end. World. Yeah. And that should actually go to show that it's actually Christ you're following. It's you know, that to do with and money. you know, I kept on telling them, I'm not, of course, yes, at the end of the day, you need to earn, but I think. My passion at the moment is what is driving me. So what are you going to do for money? Because that's going to be a real <laughs> question, yes. Hey, we shall praise to God and then afterwards we need to lay yeah, the table. So, um, even the, you know, uh, as we get there, I'm, I'm still trying to explain how I got to make yeah. this decision. You know, many pastors would talk to me and they're like, Gospel. But you see, they would forget that you don't just wake up to quit. You quit because you want it, because you're ready. And I remember last year, I'm a crier. I cry a lot. Okay, wait, before she cries. No, I'm not going to cry no, no, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. Ah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, my, this is guys on my set think that they also have tears. No, let, let's, let me do it this way. Producer, we're going to do it this way because I still want to hear Desire's uh, journey. I want to, I don't want to rush it. Yeah. I really don't want to rush it. So I'm going to stay right now that we're ending our first part of uh, my chat with Desire. And uh, we shall continue on part two on the chat room next Thursday. So make sure you stay tuned to the chat room uh, next Thursday. And uh, she will tell us about transition and the desire that you're going to see from now henceforth taken in by Christ and guided by Christ, which I'll say again, learn how to do life with Christ at the center. So if you want to be a part of the conversation, remember hashtag on, uh, hashtag if you're on Twitter, our uh, handle is NBS chat room. And if you are on Instagram or Facebook, it is the chat room UG. So for me and my team here on set, thank you guys. It's been a good day. It's good night till next Thursday. Remember to tune in. Manika Muchala, oh ye Muchala, Natale Azala, I want it to see what Manika Muchala, Natale Azala, I want it to see what Manika Muchala, oh ye Muchala, Natale Azala, I want it to see what Manika Muchala, oh ye Muchala, Natale Azala, I want it to see what Manika Muchala, oh ye Muchala, Tell me what people thought out there, what people were talking. Of course, then he would advise me, he would tell me, I'm out there, Sagala Kuramu Basoma, TV, Jibeko. You know, and he was right, he was trying to protect me to not to consume so much. Close out the noise, blind yes, out. and just focus on me, you know, healing. Mm. So, what this one time he came and was like, What will I go? You know, that was a new tone because a different tone. This time he would come. He would be low, he would be uh, 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 talking to me, but this time he was in an excited mood. I was like, Atenzali ko, watch him as a watch kubi dakatuala sente. I was like, What are you talking about? Omanye chabandem club, bakubio liim da we ndulu nevuga, kat sagala kulabango li munivu, sagala kulabanga we kubagiza. I'm sorry, I'm switching to Luganda because I need to call. Yeah, go, go. Nzali, go. <laughs> now, <laughs> this was new yeah. to me. And I didn't know what it felt like. Mm. I wasn't anxious. I, I don't know, like I totally don't know 
I just wanted it to be over. Mm. So I started getting calls to go perform. That's when you you traveled. Too. Yes. You traveled. You you were literally on, and I was stalking you. That's how you were traveling. Yeah. So um I started going for shows and you know, it was crazy. Mm. Now, to me, I think that was when that was when my healing started. My healing of uh not in a healing dealing with it. Yeah, yeah, but dealing with it, exactly. Yeah. That's when it started. You know, the moral support I was getting was comforting. Facing the world was one big thing that you were doing. Yeah, cutting up okay. Can't shake her zim. She went. You never had any hard times on stage? Of course. Sometimes someone would come and they literally want to rape you. And then you go on stage, people think you're going to strip. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's but you had good support that took you through. Yeah. Okay. So it helped me, you know, pay off the debts. Then, you know, get over the, 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 the sad moments. Push on. And that's how 2015 ended. Then reality began to settle in. 2016 <coughs> because now the, the hype was down was going down now you needed to find yourself focus on me find myself and then give another picture to the world because I was tired people are calling you off the hook I remember I changed numbers about five times men looking for you not because yes, talk about they want you but they want chitone someone sees you but that sex appeal that's all. Depressing. You see, that's the whole thing. Everyone saw you as a sex symbol. Yeah. You were a sex symbol, and and the pictures were good. That was the, that was the problem. Now you see, if those pictures were not good, Jay, they were not going to dwell on them. I tell you, my sister. Amen. It would have. <laughs> so you go and say, God, thank you. Whatever it is you gave me, I've taken it in double double. Yeah. But then. I remember people talking about you and that during that I think that's now 2016 into 17 yeah. and you were on the plane half the time and guys are like no 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 she has other business she's doing I'm like she what business could she possibly be doing what are you talking about she's an international mm -hmm. star, international whole kind international yeah. like you'd been branded different things yes. but again I sat down and said I'm not going to blame them yeah they know no better yeah I just don't know what you were dealing with yeah like I was thinking how is she dealing with it? Like yeah. How? What is she going through? Yeah. So let's move from there. Yeah. And let's come closer. Um, just give me a few moments that where you had those encounters of, mm -hmm. of of joy. Those encounters of where you felt that yeah, this is this is this is a, a realization, or this is a sign, or this is a turn, or yeah. this is a milestone. Give us some of those moments, journeying to today. Yeah. Well, we're now going to talk about the transition onward. Yeah, um, when 2016 started, mm. that's when reality hit. And uh, I wanted the world to know who I am, to know the real me. Mm. But there was no better way to do it. I, I just wanted it to happen naturally without faking it. And then... I could not compromise anymore. I needed a side. Either stay in the world or get serious with God. Like I told you previously, it was haunting me because uh, I wanted to yeah, serve in church, but then you people were seeing you on, you know, on the other side, you know, and it, I felt like I was a stumbling block to so many, you know, because God does not condemn us but the world ju judges us and condemns us. Yeah. Now, people do not understand that he actually came for the sinners. So when they see you in we church, yeah, yeah, so when they see you in church, they're like, they, they, you know, you, you can literally people. read their faces, bebuza or kolachiwano. Eh? And people, be, I know, I always yeah. get it a lot. When, I remember the other day we had a meeting and they asked me to pray. And everyone was like, ah. You know? Like, what? I do pray. Like, yeah. I know God more than anyone. And, and also, Knowing God and being with Him and, and having Him lead you is not, is not only those people that you see on the streets sh uh, preaching and making yes. noise on the streets and shouting. No. Yeah. You don't have to be that, right? Yeah. You yeah. don't have to be the one on the streets shouting or the one in the pulpit shouting. I mean, you can still praise and... Exactly. And you see, a way. relationship is between you and God. That's what people forget. 
And, you know, I, I, I was so much, there was too much character assassination and condemnation, even in church where I was praying from. I remember there was, there was a lot that was going on, too many words. It was very depressing. You know, you talk to someone, tell them what you're going through, and the next minute the whole church knows it. I know. And then you're I like, know, I'm running away from the world. I'm coming to church. Finding solace. To seek solace. solace but and then you're being hit you're like a punching bag, yeah. even in church. Yeah. It was very painful. Mm. And then this one time, a friend invited me for Fanero. And uh, I, I, I was a bit hesitant to even go to church. You know, where I was fellowshipping from was a small crowd. I was afraid okay, to go to okay, even big, bigger. Yeah, so I was like, okay, now go for narrow. This is thousands of people. If I'm going through Chibu this Chibu here, mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm going through this here, what will happen there? I was afraid. But this is someone who even approached me on Facebook. And to me, it touched me. Someone telling you through Facebook, someone you do not know, telling you they believe in you, they love you. Those words meant everything to me. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. this guy bombarded me with messages and he didn't know. It was a guy? Yeah. Nice. He didn't know he was actually imparting my life. He didn't know he was speaking life into me. He didn't know because when you're in the limelight, especially me, you know, the love we get from people sometimes is fake. Yeah. You never know who to trust. Who yes. To to and that after that scandal, I Anyone honestly didn't have. receive much of those many love yeah. apart from you know the men it's obvious yeah. but someone telling you I believe in like, you yeah I I have hope in you you yeah. have you're an amazing woman <sighs> characters I asked God is this guy up to something so I kept on asking him who are you sometimes I think he was praying for me because I wouldn't even reply sometimes I would take long to reply and then Sometimes he would talk about a situation I was going through. You know, he would tell me, I know you're confused, but God loves you and God wants to use you. And he would tell me about moments I was going through, maybe I'm um, um, maybe depressed. You know, I was actually depressed. I was I'm putting up appearance, it. but I was very depressed. And then you don't have many people to talk to because don't they don't them. understand don't you. They will not understand you. So I started opening up to this guy. But I would tell him, can you at least send me a picture so I can know who I'm talking oh, to? Because the things we are talking about are deep. And then I can't trust you just like that. I'm literally doing it because you're speaking life into me. You're telling me things I haven't heard, you know, from people. Mm. And... He sent me his picture. I gave him my WhatsApp mess, my, was, my WhatsApp number. He sent me his picture. He was a young guy, and he he told me you can actually come to church. And luckily, I went to school with Apostle Grace. You know, we were in East High together, Senior Five. I didn't know him that much, but. You know, I told him, yeah, I actually know Apostle Grace. We went to school together. So he told me, you can meet with him, talk to him, because I needed someone to talk to. Now, I had stopped fellowshipping from this church where I was going, mm. and I was looking for someone to talk to. So one of, um, I was coming from South Africa. Apostle himself called me. Now, that was even more humbling for a man of God who is busy to actually reach out to you. It was very touching. He literally called. I was exhausted because I had come back late in the night. I was sleeping. I phoned missed calls and messages. Are we meeting? Tell me what time. You know, that is so humbling. So I went and met with him and I was just crying. I know what that means. Because, Girl, I know. Yeah. And or you just let him, go where well, you can't open your mouth. Yeah. yeah. And I was telling him, you know, um, I'm doing what I, I have to do, but I don't feel happy. I mm. feel depressed. I feel <coughs> sad. Mm. I want to start gospel music, but the energy, the negative energy is but too I much. Mm. I don't know where to start mm. from. And that was not November last year. He told me, he told me one thing. 
desire God loves you. Mm. And uh, oh, no tears, no tears. What's this? Yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> he told me God loves you, mm. and it's not in your capacity mm. to change. You you can't you change can't yourself. Your you it's can't do your it on will. your own. Yeah. It's not he told your me. Will. Yeah. He told me keep on doing what you're doing, but seek God seek God's guidance. Ask him to lead you there. Mm -hmm. And trust me, the transition will be will smooth. Happen. I felt so relieved. That's all I needed. That's all you needed. That is all you just I needed. Need to assure you that yeah, that it is well, it. that it is okay to actually be in this world because God understands you and God loves you even when you're in this other world. And when the right time is, you know, when the time is right, he will move you and place you where he wants you to be. And you know, the moment he told me that, I actually laid back. I stopped forcing it. I, you know, I didn't even care. I, I went to church, I went to Fanero, and people were very welcoming. I, I didn't even care whether people were judging me because I was waiting on God and he had to fulfill you. his purpose in me. I went for shows. I continued going to studio. That's why this album has many songs. How many songs does it have? 17. I went to studio. I was literally doing me but waiting on God. And by the time I did this, it was the right time. I feel it from deep within me. The Bible says would have been like Sodom and Gomorrah. He says, in those days, now listen, they shall say no more that the fathers have eaten a sour grape and the children's teeth are set on the edge. Again now, he talks about sin in form of a fruit. In this instance, it's grape. God looks at the sin principle and relates it to fruit. Even here in Jeremiah, he speaks of the sin principle as fruit. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to Desire more no about... <clears throat> no tears. We're going to talk about where to now. Because I know everyone is going to ask Akati, how are you going to manage to sustain the lifestyle, the life, yourself? Because I know we, we don't know of any other means of, yeah. of earning on yeah. your side. Yeah. If you're going to live a secular world, then where are you going to earn from? How do you plan to do this? Which way are you heading to? Yeah. We'll be coming back to talk to her. But remember, as I go into this very big break, um, I'll remind you about saying no to Kavera. Let's start. It actually starts with you and me. Let's tell those people that give us those caveras, no. We say we put recycle bags. Remember your recycle bag when you're going shopping, carry it, fold it, those small as you can fold. That way you will be working hand in hand with everyone else like me and the rest that have to say no to cavera. Let's help protect this environment. <laughs> Okay, see, when I always keep telling you, uh, I always keep saying it here, you always think you know us based on what you've read online, based on what you've heard, what you've read in the press, or what you think you know. But you really never know us until you get to encounter us. And by us, I mean the put in the limelight, the people you watch on your TV, listen to on radio, for we entertain you, like the gorgeous sister of mine. I'm going to call her my sister. Yes, Desire Lizenda. And now, let's, let's now go back. We're saying we had that, no, this is even more recent. And girl, you yeah. were smashing. Oh, this was, hey. 
Akaka kofi la woka kwa baby woka wewe zanja kwa zip code. Okay that's you know at an event so I'm just looking at the different is that there's this now eh can go ka dankala ba Yeah that's 2014 yeah. yeah I can see there's desire this desire working out that's going to continue that she's going to continue I'm sure there's this desire the desire that we've known there's this desire the desire that we've all grown up knowing yeah. all uh, enjoyed watching or well not that one that one <laughs> 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 Well I also enjoy watching that one but yeah <laughs> but there's this desire yeah and then now we are transitioning to the other desire mm -hmm. the transition where is it no no <laughs> you're fired <laughs> <laughs> okay now he is really stalking you <laughs> stop stalking and give me the picture i want okay while well, he's looking for that picture yeah. um uh, desire now we're at the well you you've already passed that line yeah but we the viewers are, uh, are just getting to know that now because mm -hmm. i know like you said people would ask questions people would wonder like really she's doing this she's going well your pastor everyone has everything they've got they will always have something to say yeah but now i need to know mm -hmm. the transition mm -hmm. that's such a beautiful picture what time did you shoot this 7 7 a.m. in yeah. the morning. In the morning. Yeah. Gorgeous. Nice. So, now what does this mean? These are your fans. Now we are talking about to your fans, the ones that are watching the chat room, the ones that are following us from the diaspora. Oh, by the way, people in Kenya, Asante sana, the people in Rwanda, Murakoze Chani for staying tuned to the chat room. I love it that you're watching us. What should your fans now expect? What does this mean? <laughs> to the buy number shares, I know. They I need know. to know. Uh, well, <clears throat> much as all eyes are on me because of the transition, mm -hmm. one thing I need to let people know is, um, I'm ready, ready for the gospel. However, what does that mean? Are you going to be a Preacher? No, okay. like I'm ready to live the life of salvation. Of salvation. Yes. However, mm. they ought to remember mm. that I'm human. Mm. I could make mistakes. Yes. And uh, and it doesn't mean you don't look like this. Please. Yeah. Let's not, let's not mix things. Yeah. Up. I want to do this be, when I'm me, being me. I don't want to fake it. And they should give me room to be me. You want to do life with Christ at the center. That's yes. That's statement. You can borrow it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, uh, what did I want to say? Um, well, when I said I want to be me, they ought to know that I could make mistakes, so they shouldn't judge me. They shouldn't judge me, but I'm very ready to live the life of salvation. Okay. Yeah. So let's now go musically because everyone is asking, eh, again, I'm just saying that. No, you know, just like I said, I'm going to do me. I have new songs out. I'm going to still perform. But then how, what, what music are you going to perform? Because now this album... I want to do the money. Like now I'm going to promote this album because I didn't do the album songs have to any secular music? Yes, it's all secular. It because, last one. Yeah, that's why I said it's my last so it's all secular. That's okay, why I so said I'm still going to perform. You'll still see me. So you're but still going to perform at Stone? Eh, carry Sorry. Us. You're going Watching to still perform <laughs> while you're on Stone. You're going to perform. Um, okay. You're going to perform it doesn't take away who I am. Yes. And what I believe. And then, exactly. I need them to understand that. Yes. 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 If you hear her perform whatever song she's performing, no, they shouldn't judge um, me. I mean, that means you want me to go into hiding. No. Mm. I'm still going to do what I have to do until my gospel music is ready, then I'll switch. So we are going to say that means that we are transitioning. Yes. Journey has started. Exactly. That's why You're it's called transition. There. She's not yet there. Yes. The transition doesn't end just with this album. No. It's still going with you. Yes. All the way. Yes. It's, it's okay. like having a baby. They crawl. They grow. The Based. process. Yes, and yeah. this is me. I'm now a baby, crawling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, um, what should people expect 
um, other than just being you, mm -hmm. what else should they expect? Are you going to do anything else in the line of Christ? I'm not talking about you preaching. Are we <laughs> going to see you on the streets? If God calls me to do that, why not? I'm literally being guided by the Holy Spirit. Whatever, yes. goes, whatever God tells me to do, I will do. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But uh, as I transition, I wanted to share my story, so I chose to run a campaign, a Girls and Goals campaign. Girls and Goals? Yes. The okay. campaign is basically nurturing the girl child. I believe I have a story to tell that will nurture someone, that will guide someone out there. Have I've lessons learned, learned that you Yes. Using my experience to help the girl child shape their future and uh, decision making. I like that. I really Thank like you. that. I mean, that's what it takes. The person who's gone through it can only tell it better. Exactly. Yeah, that's yes. very true. So what, what, where are you starting with that? How are you, how are you going with that? How are you setting off with that campaign? Um, where should people, I mean? People are yet to see me. I've been invited in schools, in churches. They're yet to see a lot so more. So you're going to become a motivational my, speaker of sorts. I am passionate about it. Hey, yes, hey. because I have a story to tell. When God starts walking, walking <laughs> in your life, hey, your enemy does not know what happened. Your enemy is just going to turn around and say, ah, I thought I knew you, but yeah. they didn't know. Yeah. And I really, I like the journey you're taking. And for me, mostly because now we're parents, you've got to think about your child. Mm -hmm. And then also, but being parents is such an amazing thing because it makes you look at life differently. Yeah. Then you start thinking about the future generation. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, okay, uh, what happens in the future? What happens with my legacy? Exactly. You know, you really need to leave a legacy that, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted you to do an acapella. Just choose for me any song of that album. Any song. Before I ask you for <coughs> another acapella. But this one first from this album. Okay, I'm going to do uh, a rendition of Steve Willis. The song is titled Stood in the Gap. I chose to redo that song because every time I listened to it, I felt like the song, the singer was speaking to me because I relate. The Lord has stood in the gap for me many times. I have kissed death many times. And it, if it were not by the grace of God, I wouldn't be here to tell my story. Ooh. Yeah. Baba for standing in the gap for me. I don't know the song though. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the song. And then I remember one time I had an interview at, at a, a Christian um, radio and I was asked what song I would I, I was asked to request a song okay this was a new one because for me we were used to our secular radio I mean so I knew what music to talk about now when I was there there's music that I've had that there are songs that yeah. speak to me mm -hmm. but then to them they feel like uh, ah you're still an amateur mm. what songs are those like if I, they ask me and I say I love amazing grace they're like well, yeah, cool. <laughs> 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 I feel like it, you know, even a kid could say that. Do you understand? <laughs> I could I'm like, no, 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 no. Just listen to the words. Yeah. They're speaking to me. Yeah. I tell them about the song, You Move Me, Susan Ashton. Mm -hmm. I, when I sing that song, it just kind of, I, I go to a place. Yeah. But just because the particular songs are kind of talking. Yes. What song speaks to you? If you're in church, whether it's a worship song, it's a praise song, but it's one of those songs that, it's, it's just talking to you. The person was literally talking to you. Yeah. Um, there's this song that goes... Um, I'm trying to remember. You know, now, Stood in a Gap is in my I head. Know. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. How can I forget this piece? Oh, Jesus. Take please. your time. No worries. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Um, my God. Stood in the gap is it's stuck in your in your I know the feeling and then and then because I'm sitting here you're like I have to think about the song quick. Yeah. So I'm trying to recollect myself. Uh I, I, I wish I could help. I but know I don't know. And it's a Luganda song. Yeah, I took a tell. <laughs> How can I forget? By who? I don't even know the singer, but it's a worship song. I love it so much. Sick I wish I knew it. I might know it though, but I don't know. 
I feel bad that you're trying you to remember. You should have asked me first I, because stood in the gap is like gap. ringing in my head. Okay, stood in the gap. Can you stand on the side? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I wish I could. Oh my God. I actually did that song uh, many times when I was worshipping. So you even, even like at Fanero, you go in front and you No, 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 no. I haven't uh, joined haven't choir in Fanero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you I, plan to? If God leads me there. You're just waiting to be led. Okay. Yeah, I know what I, you mean though. Yeah. I know what you mean. You cannot just blindly going to it yeah it's I know like how can I and if I tell you the song that's playing in my head you're probably going to say, ah, no you can't even guess the one that I have in my head is is no 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 which is different no 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 it has very nice word and you say I don't know if it, that's the title now yeah it goes um Nalio kane, mkusenga kwe, omulo kozi katonda, chenvu tensa, nyuka nini, nenja tula, tensa nyuse, nsa nyuse, San you say yes Oh my god Now I know why you needed to find it. Uh. Yeah. It means yeah. a lot. Yeah. And then you know when I'm doing that I normally add yeah. I normally when I'm done with that I'd add um I surrender Oh I surrender oh all to thee my blessed savior I surrender oh my lord tell me how is it not loving to be in his oh my presence knee. That is when you feel the way to go do go go or go go to go to no go to go no no kids are not going to come out to gain that way on get your no tears let's move on yeah. okay so uh from now on desire is beginning her transition yes but she's still going to perform yes you're still going to go to your usual concerts yes um and they expect to have the same performance yes uh, no, it can't be the same. Of course, now it's more modest and, uh, you know. Well, there's no watch. Ah, some cut. Yes. So, we in our interviews together. Yes. So, for now, what we're going to say is we're going to say, let's work together to allow her transition to happen. Please. Let's be fair. Thank let's you. Let's be kind. Mm. Let's preach love. Yeah. Let's show support. Because you don't lose anything by doing any of those things, by the way. Tomorrow, yeah. you just might be the same person that needs all this love and care that we are looking for we are asking to spread mm. all i can say is that i'm so glad Thank that you. from that situation you were able to come out yeah many people may have not made it out yeah. people would have struggled with it probably like you said probably found solace elsewhere yeah but we're grateful that with the help of god and that young man that held your hand that persistently prayed for you yeah we thank him Pray for you as well. Mm -hmm. and God bless you. And then I would just say, I'm just wishing you all the best. Thank you. All the best. Thank and to you your girl, so much. tell her she has the coolest mom ever. <laughs> <laughs> and and just tell Thank her she's you. she's she's loved. She's loved. And are you, are you planning? Are you nurturing a musician there? Does no. she have any interest? No, she wants to be a radiologist. Oh, I pat myself on the back. Amen. Way. She would. Hey. I have a, a daughter. In, I mean, a, a doctor in her. So. Thank God. Okay, and you're not sure because I know you've sent her to the US. Is yeah, that true? Yeah, yeah. Good. That's yeah. us. Yeah. But and she's around right now. She's on holiday. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give her a fat bear hug for me and my <laughs> sure. chatroom family. We really appreciate. Thank you. Thank so you. Much thank for you for coming. having what, me. The crew is hands? amazing. Why are you your hands? <laughs> <laughs> thank crew, you for yes. being so loving. Thank I've you felt very at much. home. Thank you for having me. Thank you for sharing my story. We really appreciate. Wow. And this we'll is actually follow. the first interview I'm having. 
since my transition and, and my we appreciate that you gave us the opportunity sure I'm it's not easy it's not easy but I'm very proud of you. Very, Thank very, you. and I'm happy for you. Thank you. And when you get to my age, you'll get it. Then I want you to give a message mm -hmm. to. I want you to give a message to the young girls because yeah. now you're talking to the young girls. Mm -hmm. I need you to look at this camera yeah. and, and talk to the young girls. Give them a message because mm -hmm. right now the young girl of now is going through so much pressure yeah to be what she's not to yeah. be what she doesn't want shouldn't be to look a certain way to be a certain person to mm. to, to 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 keep up with the appearances yeah it is so much pressure that is yeah. so unnecessary yeah i just want you to talk to those girls mm. I hope it's too I much can pressure like yeah. i just need you to try and just say i know just talk to them whoever i is hope watching. i can have the best words as brief as i can because I would take all day to say mm. words to them, but um, for you watching me out there, do not be pressured by the masses. Just know who you are. Find your vision. Chase it the right way. There is no shortcut to a successful life. I beseech you, there is no shortcut. Seek God. We all have a God we serve. Seek God. There is no better life than that. Everything else around you could fail, but God will never fail you. I love you. Oh, I want to <laughs> cry. Anyway, I like that. I really like that. And again, I'll also say the same words and share them and say it's, it's nice for us to, to try and learn to do Christ life with Christ at the center. Yeah. That way you won't feel the pressure to exactly. be. You will be able to take the pace that you should. Yes. Okay, so watch out for desire. Follow her and be kind. Let's be kind, man. Come on, let's not be mean to each other, especially the women out there. Yeah, we shall be following you online, and I'll still be stalking you. And I want to come and read the wardrobe, guys. Just wait. When I read, you will see what I'll find there. Volume ya kajang. Eh, baby, baby, put it down. Okay, so for me and my team at the chat room, thank you very much for coming, girl. And you take care of yourself and God bless you and thank all the you. best in everything. Thank you. I'm humbled. And as for you, it's been a beautiful Thursday evening and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Remember, for your comments, questions to her, you can follow us on Twitter. The handle is NBS Chatroom. On Facebook and Instagram, it is the Chatroom UG.